Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup basket for February of 2020. As you can see, my new basket setup is totally new. I love it, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour, talk about what we already have in my basket, carryovers from last month, and then we're going to go shop my stash, pick out some new things, reorganize this, and we're just going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and zoom in and start taking a look at this new setup. So up here, I don't know if you can hear my laptop being really loud, but anyway. Up here we have kind of a, a smorgasbord. This is actually a lid. Like you can see back here, there is a lid. But um, I had things up here that are tall that I wanted to include, so I decided to just leave the lid open all the time. So we have kind of a few things up here. First, we have setting sprays. I have a MAC Fix Plus. I have my Shop and Say setting spray. And I have my Smashbox Primer Water. It's just within arm's reach. It's really easy, and I like having them up there. Next, we have my AirPods. <laughs> I've got just a, a hand cream. This was just a gift, and I like keeping a lotion or hand cream here because I constantly moisturize. Uh, don't worry, these are not real <laughs> credit cards. These are from a uh, Capital One. I get a lot of, uh, what is the word? Spam? Not spam. Junk mail. I get a lot of junk mail, and so I've actually been trying to, like, I recycle most of it. But then I try to use things like this with my makeup, because I like to use this to create, like, the wing with my shadow. I've also been using this card. <laughs> you can see, like, where I was actually using it as a wing. I try to do that with products like that. Back here, I also have the Curly Girl Handbook by Lorraine Massey. If you missed my Abochinche chat where I talk all about the drama surrounding Diva Curl right now, I'll throw that up in the cards. So, let's see. Over here, I want to bring the camera over so we can actually look down at everything over here. But first, I just have the foundation I'm wearing today. I've been testing it out, and whenever I test a foundation out, I leave it out here so that at the end of the day and I come back, I know what I was wearing. <laughs> so let's move over here. Alright, so here we are above. I can definitely clean this out. I've been keeping basically like my eye products and then like some lipsticks and lip products up here. Just also easy to see, easy to reach, and I like this is like a lipstick holder that I just kind of repurposed. I have my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Love that. I'm going to keep that. I've got the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, my favorite affordable eyebrow gel. Also just going to keep using those too. I have this little sample of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara that I'm going to use once this is done because I think I have one more month left on this. These two eyeliners from Esquito, Esquito, I actually really like them. They're some of the only gel eyeliners that last all day in my waterline, which is pretty shocking, um, especially considering like my hooded lids and how much like my eyes water so I really like those mascara no mascaras I really like those liners um I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my review on Instagram and then I'm gonna put them back into my collection and just kind of bring some different things out but they're really good and I, I really enjoy testing those this I brought this back out to kind of use it again in the middle of the month this is from Colourpop and this is the brow boss gel and I hate it so <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of that uh I also have the NYX epic ink liner oh, and there it goes <laughs> It's one of the best liquid liners like ever. I really like that. And then I have the Fenty Fly Liner. I'm actually not a huge fan of this. I don't know what it is. Like, the most recent products I've been getting from Fenty, I haven't really been liking. So, kind of a shame. I've got my NYX Glitter Glue always. Got my Lash Curler back here. And now let's go through the lipsticks. I want to keep the green lipsticks. This is a Kylie green, Jeffree Star green, Jeffree Star green. This melt one can move back to my collection. Let's see. Let's move these ColourPop ones back to my collection. Uh, same with these two. This is Jeffree Star in birthday suit, and then this is Black Moon Cosmetics. Uh, these two I'm going to keep. This is Gerard Cosmetics. And then this is Wander Beauty. Those are both in my Tri Beauty box. The one back here with Angelica Neekvist. Okay, so my camera, the battery just died. Totally cut off. I don't know where I left off. But I've got these two lipsticks that uh, are from my Tri Beauty box with Angelica Neekvist. I'm going to keep both of those in. And then I want to move in these two lipsticks. The package literally just came today. These are from... Oh, they're very reflective. These are from Carity. And I've got the... Matcha Gracias green lipstick, and then I have their black liquid lipstick, which is vinyl. So I'm very excited to try those two out. So those are kind of the lipsticks I'm going to be 
mainly sticking with when I actually wear lipstick because recently I've just really been liking chapstick just because it's been so dry. All right, now to get into the drawers. This is the very first drawer, and I basically try to do like primers, foundation, and concealer here. So this, I'm actually going to go ahead and move out of my collection. This was a little sample of the strobe cream from MAC, and it's just about done, so I'm done with this one. I have my cute little lash glue from House of Lashes. I really like it. I'm gonna keep that in here. It's like, I think the only lash glue I currently have. Next, I have this primer spray from Shop Miss A. I just started using it, so I really don't know my thoughts on it yet, so I'm gonna keep it here. I actually should probably put it up here with the other spray. Just make it look a little bit more uniform. What is this? Oh, that's the cover to the MAC foundation. Should probably put that on, huh? Next, I have this eye primer from Fenty. I actually really don't like this. It didn't work well for me. This is probably gonna be in my next favorites and fails video. It's gonna be in there as a fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move that over to like my empty section and just be done with it. Let's see, going back here, I have the ABH Dip Brow. Uh, it's almost dried out and it's like almost empty. So I think, I think I'm done with this one. So I'm gonna move this into my empties. Yeah. Next, I have these products from ELF. I've got the Luminous Putty Primer, the Matte Putty Primer, and then the two Putty Eye Primers, and then I also have this other Putty Eye Primer. I'm gonna move this one into my collection because I'm not using it right now. This is the Skin Toned, for my skin tone at least, color one, and then this is the white one. I've actually been using the Skin Toned more, uh, what is, I don't know what the actual shade is on this because I didn't look. <laughs> But it's basically the dupe for soft ochre, is what I'm kind of calling it. So I'm going to leave these in. I've been using the matte and luminous putty primers. I like the luminous one, the matte one. It's not working so well. So we'll just keep those in. And then let's take a look at the foundations down here. This one's finally empty, so this is from The Ordinary. It's a serum foundation. I'm gonna move this over to my empties. This is my MAC foundation, my newly matched MAC foundation. This is the Studio Fix Fluid, and I am now the shade NW13. So that is going to stay in here. I have this Milani Screen Queen foundation, and I've been testing it, and I've been using it, and I really don't like it. I'm about ready to do a review. I wanted to review this one and the Wet n Wild at the same time. So once I review that, I think I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Next, I have one of my Holy Grail foundations, and this is the Shop Miss A, or the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation, and my closest shade match is 301. My go-to concealer recently has been the Shop Miss A concealer. I should probably move it out and start using something else. I'll just bring this back into my collection, and then I'll bring something else in, but I love those concealers. This is what I've been using as an eye base recently. This is the Cut Crease Canvas from Makeup Revolution, and I actually really like it, so I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm getting to the point where it's almost empty, so I'm probably gonna have to start like scraping that out soon. Next, I have my white mixer that I still need, <laughs> despite the fact I am getting better now at matching foundations. So I think the only foundation that really isn't a good shade match for me, the Milani one's actually a little too light. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit better, <laughs> like tiny bit better. So that is everything in this new top drawer. And I love these drawers. They're so big and just neat. I love this thing. This, I got this off of Amazon, so I can link that down below if you guys are interested in like the full box. Next, we have like my main kind of powder drawer. And I think we're gonna go ahead and move most of this out, except for this Physician's Formula powder. I hit a lot of pan and I kind of just want to repress it and finish it up. So I'm going to keep this in there. Oh, and the loose powder. I only have two loose powders. So I'm going to keep this Maybelline Fit Me in here. Got my bread thing. I'm going to move out the Milani Blush and Luminoso. I'm going to move out the Jeffree Star uh, Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I'm going to move out this Tarte Face Palette. It's the original Clay Play Palette that I love so much. I'm also going to move these lashes out. I wore these a couple times, surprisingly. <laughs> so I'm going to try and also get better at rotating and using lashes. And I'm also going to move out the Soft Glam Palette, which I was really, I was just using. Let's not blind you. I was just using the black shade for my brows. That was it. So I need to move this out and find something else to use for my brows. So we will keep the powder, my bread thing, and the other powder. <laughs> 
All right, down here, I have a couple of palettes that I really want to use. This one I need to actually like use and test to see if it's gone bad on me. This is the Modern Renaissance and I've had it for a while, so I just need to keep that in there and test it out. This was from my uh, Tribe Beauty box and I haven't used it yet. So, uh, hmm, I'll, I'll put that, I'll keep that in here. Because these two are going to move out because I'm using them for a collab that I'm finishing filming today. So once I film that collab, I'll move these back in. This is the Minus Cosmetics Flower Balm palette. And this is the Zodiac Love Signs palette. And last but not least, we have this big drawer down here. It's like the biggest drawer. And what I really want to use for powders this month, I want to pick out some singles. So I do have a face powder, some highlighters and stuff. So I'm going to move this up to the main powder drawer. So that when we go to pick Shop My Stash, I'm going to try and just pick like mainly depotted products or single products. And then down here, I just have like some, oh, you guys can't see. <laughs> yeah, so down here, I just have some mini palettes, palettes I want to do Spotlight on Petite palettes on, and some liquid shadows that I've really been reaching for. So I don't think I'm really going to change much here. I actually don't think I'm going to pick any eyeshadow palettes because I'm going to move the, this Shop My Stay one up here. I'm really going to force myself to use those. So I think, I think we are good here because these are the next ones I want to film with and I like having them right here. So I think we're good there. Yes. Oh, don't knock everything over. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put away the makeup that we moved out of the basket and then we'll go and shop my stash to pick out some new things. Okay, so we're over in my makeup collection. Like I said, I really want to make kind of my own face palette and use some like singles and use some depotted products. So I've got this kind of double-sided Z palette and I want to pick some products from here. So first of all, I want to use this bronzer. This is a depotted Milani bronzer, so I'm going to put that in. I technically still have a contour in this, so this is a Kevin Aquan contour right there. So I'm going to use that one. And I have a face powder in there already, so I think that's good for here. I've got two highlights in there, but I think I'm going to take them out and move in one of these. Hmm. Let's use Mary Lou. This is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. And we'll move in, I'll take out this kind of gold one, and we'll keep that really light bright one. So. This is what our created palette is kind of looking like so far. We've got a bronzer, a contour, a face powder, some highlights. So since I've been loving just having a black eyeshadow in my brows, I'm going to move in this. I think this is from Viseart. Just a black shadow so I can just use it for my eyebrows. <laughs> and do I want to bring in anything else? I think I'll use just this white shimmer because I think this would go well with my Pen That palette. And, hmm, I think that's good. Gotta take it slow and steady because I'm really bad at using my singles. Okay, so this is everything that we're using in my little Z palette. So we got most of my face stuff, my brows, my highlights. So moving up here, I know I'm gonna need to pick concealer and I think I'm gonna need some liner. Let's see. I've got this double-sided pixie liner I haven't used in a while, so I'll use that one. And then I have this mini Marc Jacobs liner in black. We'll just use these two. Alright, so for concealer... Hmm... I want to bring in... Let's bring in the Ulta and the Kylie. Because I haven't really used these both a lot recently, so I'll bring those two in. And do I need the salmon color corrector? I don't think so. We'll, we'll just leave that. Ooh, just lost a pair of lashes. <laughs> so, the lashes drawer. Let's bring in... Hmm, do I want something dramatic? Do I want something natural? I want to use one of these Shop Miss A lashes, and they look hella dramatic. I think they're probably going to be too big for my eyes, but you know what? Let's test them. So, we will use this pair, and this is... What's... The Yoni, Yoni, Y-O-N-I, pair. <laughs> I think I'm okay with lipsticks, so I don't really want to go into here, because I did just pick up those new lipsticks. So I've got those. These are all my empties that I'm trying to keep to do reviews on Influencer. I'm behind. <laughs> it's a big bag. So let's see, do I really need to... Oh, this goes with the lashes. Do I need to pick anything else? Let's just go through the drawers real quick. 
so the foundation drawer i still have those new foundations uh i think maybe should i bring in another primer i kind of want to bring this one in i haven't used this one in a while this is the garnier skin active bb cream it's a bb cream but i use it as a primer so i'm gonna bring this and i think that is it for this drawer so let's see i already got a blush a bronzer oh wait did i get a blush i did not get a blush what blush did i pick you know i, I should use this i'm gonna bring this in to get some use out of this is the bh cosmetics 10 pan blush palette so i'm gonna get some good use out of this and i think that's good for this drawer these are all highlighters and highlighter palettes, and I have a couple of highlighters already, so I think we're good there. And then this is kind of a miscellaneous, messy drawer that doesn't really have much of anything other than lip gloss. And some empty palettes, and some samples, so I think we're good there. And face palettes. I made my own face palettes, I really don't think I need to bring... Oh, let's zoom you guys down. <laughs> so yeah, we already made our own face palette, so I don't think I'm going to pull a face palette from here. And I think we're okay with eyeshadow palettes. So let's go ahead and move everything that we picked into my everyday makeup basket. Then I'll show you the final basket. Okay, so now all the makeup's in. This is the top. Not much change here other than our eyeliners and our new lipsticks. Drawer number one. Drawer number two, we've got our little Z palette here. We've got our blush palette and our powders. Drawer number three, <laughs> very pink. And I've got these here because I'm about to film this last part of the collab. So once that's filmed, those will go away. And then my handy dandy little towel. So we can open drawer one, two, three, four. I had to, I had to count guys, Whoosh. yikes. <laughs> And of course, over here, I still have, well, coffee. I'm, I drink coffee constantly. And my uh, pen that palette, the blood sugar palette, just lives over there. So that is this February makeup basket and my new everyday makeup basket setup. I really like it. I think it's cute. I think it's functional. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in February. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.